everyone, I'm Karen Cabot and welcome back to HGTV Handmade. So an easy way to dress up any shelf and make your library look designed is with bookends. And if you want something that's really going to keep all of your heavy books upright, you can't get any more basic than a brick. I bought these bricks at the hardware store for 42 cents each, so this is definitely a very affordable home upgrade. But unless you're really going for the rustic look, these plain bricks are just not cute. So today I have three ways for you to decorate a pair of bricks to make some fabulous bookends. For all three DIYs, we're going to start by sanding down the rough edges off of the bricks, and then just give them a quick wipe down with a damp paper towel to get rid of any dirt. And now we're going to give them a white base coat. I gave each brick two coats of paint, and now it is time to move on to our first DIY. So if you remember, a few weeks ago I showed you how to make these ombre book covers. I loved them so much that I had to make even more for another armful of books. But to keep them from falling all over the place, I'm going to make matching gradient bookends. To do this, just take the bricks outside and stand them upright. Give them one color of paint on the bottom half and then a second color of paint on the top half. And that's all there is to it. Once they're dry, bring them back inside and glue a little bit of felt to the bottom so that they don't scratch up your shelves. And now we've turned this boring old row of books into an ombre pastel wonderland. I love how much of an impact this has when all you really need is spray paint. Next we're going to make these cute diorama bookends. These were inspired by a project that I saw on a blog like three years ago, and I'm still thinking about that project, so I'm going to link my inspiration images right down below if you want to check those out. But to put my own twist on it, I decided to paint the bricks with gold gilding paint, because I'm me and I can't do a project that doesn't use gold gilding paint. After painting four sides of the bricks gold, I'm next going to put a layer of green paint on top of the bricks. That way, if the grass that I'm gluing on has gaps, it'll show green rather than white. Next, I'm going to use this faux grass, which you can get in the model railroad section of the craft store, or you can just buy it online. To use this, spray the surface with spray glue and then sprinkle on the grass, kind of pressing it down as you go. Once you're happy with the coverage, let it dry completely. Next, I'm going to attach these adorable miniature trees, as well as these mini cows and these mini sheep that I've been holding on to since high school, and I'm so glad I finally have another project that I can use them in. So just glue those down and then glue on a little bit more grass to cover the base of the tree. Just like before, I also glued felt onto the bottom, and then that's it. Now you've got these adorable miniature country scenes on top of your bookends, and I just think they are so precious. Plus, the shiny gold makes a big impact, especially if you style it with high contrast black and white books. And finally, our last bookends are probably the easiest of them all. Once you have your bricks painted, all you need is string and hot glue. Wrap the string around the brick and tie a knot, and then use a bit of hot glue just to hold the knot in place. And now just wrap the string around the brick in a random pattern. Once you're happy with how it looks, just tie off your string and cut off the excess. And then, since the string wraps all the way around the brick, you don't need to add felt to this one. For the matching pair, I actually decided to change it up a little and wrap the string from top to bottom rather than in a random pattern. And that's it. It's such an easy DIY. Now I've got two string-wrapped bricks that are a little more subtle than the other two, but you can arrange them in so many different ways. And I think they look beautiful with a row of pastel colored books. So I would love to know from you guys which brick bookends were your favorites. How else would you decorate these bricks to match all of your books? So if you want another book craft from me, I think that you will love my DIY textbook covers from last month, which you could honestly use for any book in your house. It doesn't just have to be textbooks. So be sure to press that subscribe button for even more DIY projects, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Bye!